The Quality of Life Index is an estimation of overall quality of life by using an empirical formula which takes into account things like purchasing power, pollution, house price to income ratios, the cost of living, safety, healthcare, traffic commute times, and the climate. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Geography Bible. I'm Sam, your narrator for the video. With this formula, we can then work out the best cities in the world to live in. Of course, this isn't a guaranteed method of deciding which city is the best, but these factors are often the main influences on whether a city is livable or not. Put simply, imagine living in an expensive, highly polluted city with lots of crime and traffic. Would you want to live there? Probably not. So here we go, here are the top 25 most livable cities in the world. The higher the city scores, the higher they rank on this list. Starting off with number 25, Reykjavik, Iceland. Reykjavik accounts for around three quarters of Iceland's total population. Iceland as a whole ranks in the top 10 for the world's happiest countries, the world's least corrupt countries and the world's safest countries too. I think the cold climate and the super expensive living costs are the only reason why this city does not rank higher. Number 24, Seattle, United States. Not only is Seattle surrounded by lush evergreen forests, but the city is famous for being environmentally friendly. Plus, its residents earn above average incomes. Number 23, Dallas, United States. As one of the fastest growing cities and one of the best places to live in America, Dallas is booming. And the truth is, Dallas's appeal is nothing new. If you look back in history, you will see that Dallas has always been known for its ability to attract and create wealth. And it has long been a haven for goods, services and entertainment. Number 22, Buffalo, United States. Living in Buffalo gives you a city and suburban mix. Everyone is super nice and friendly. There are lots of bars, parks, shops, and restaurants to be enjoyed. Number 21, Luxembourg, Luxembourg. Luxembourg sits in 21st place. This is mainly due to the natural environment and the cozy small town flair, but also the safety of the towns and the political and economic stability of the country. Number 20, Copenhagen, Denmark a city that I am personally dying to visit. I've only ever heard good things about this city. As soon as travel restrictions are lifted, guess where I'm heading. Number 19, Bergen, Norway. Bergen's old town is built right on the water and on the edge of mountains. In my opinion, it is one of the most beautiful places in the world. Just check this out. Number 18, Perth, Australia. I have personally visited Perth twice in my life and I would say it is one of the most livable cities I have ever been to. It's super chill, clean, has amazing weather and super friendly people. I would happily live here. Number 17, San Diego, USA. Not only is America's finest city one of the best places to live on the West Coast and one of the best places for veterans to retire, but it also has great employment opportunities, a plethora of beautiful beaches, top-notch restaurants, affordable neighborhoods, and much, much more. Number 16, Richmond, USA. Plenty of outdoor activities, it's very affordable, great employment opportunities, and a city that experiences all seasons. We can see why it made this list. Number 15, Geneva, Switzerland. Geneva is quite a luxurious place to live. The city is well looked after, public services are maintained to a high standard, and it is very, very safe. If you enjoy culture, eating out, or hiking in the mountains, then Geneva is the place for you. Number 14, Vienna, Austria. Austria's capital, Vienna, is known around the world for its fantastic living standards. It's relatively cheap for a European capital, it's safe, has lots of green spaces, and great education centers. Number 13, Charlotte, USA. From its charming bungalows and vibrant nightlife to commercial hubs and family-friendly communities. It's no wonder Charlotte made Forbes' list of 10 places that people are moving to right now. Number 12, Victoria, Canada. Located on the southernmost tip of Vancouver Island, Victoria ranks incredibly well in terms of its economic, real estate, climate, attractions and amenity ratings, and this makes it one of the best places to live, work, or even retire in Canada. Number 11, 
Eidenhoven, Netherlands. Living in Eidenhoven comes with high living standards, good work to life balance, and exciting opportunities for professionals. Number 10, Brisbane, Australia. Yet another Australian city, which I have had the pleasure of visiting twice. Again, just like Perth, I love this city. It's kind of like a chilled version of Sydney. Super open spaces. It's a big city, but it's not too busy. I found it clean. I love the parks and of course, I love the weather. Number nine, Austin, USA. Austin is routinely lauded as one of the best places to live in the US. Thanks to its warm weather, affordable housing and bustling cultural scene. And if you're considering moving to Austin, you'll have lots of different options of places to live for family friendly suburbs to densely packed urban areas. Number eight, Columbus, USA. Columbus, Ohio is a very lovely place to live. There are a lot of job opportunities for anyone who is seeking a career. Living there is extremely affordable and everything you need is 15 to 20 minutes away as it is essentially a big, small town. Number seven, Madison, USA. A hive of healthcare, IT, and manufacturing powered by pipelines of talent out of the University of Wisconsin creates a symbiotic, sustainable relationship between academic infrastructure and economic performance. For this reason, Madison lands in a top three spot for educational attainment nationally for small cities. Number six, The Hague, Netherlands. As the seat of the Dutch national government, as well as the residence of the Dutch royal family, The Hague has an international appeal. It is internationally renowned as the city of peace and justice due to its role as the official seat of the international crime court of justice. Number five, Zurich, Switzerland. Switzerland's largest city is also one of the most livable in the world, with its clean and safe streets, rich cultural life, and location on Lake Zurich. Zurich is Switzerland's largest city and the country's banking and financial centre, which means the economy is great and there's plenty of opportunities to advance in your career. Number four, Raleigh, USA, the 10th and final city on this list from the United States. With great jobs, endless local restaurants, amazing access to nature, and housing options to all ends of the spectrum, Raleigh is a great place to live. And now we're on to the top three. Number three, Wellington, New Zealand. Another city which I have personally visited. Although it was only for a brief amount of time, it did seem super modern, clean, and the weather was pretty much perfect. Number two, Canberra, Australia. Australia's capital city, a city which does not even cross tourist minds to visit. From what I've heard, it is a lovely place, nice and chilled, there's not much crime and it's very clean, but there's not much to do there. So although it's a super livable city, it's not the greatest option for a tourist who's looking to see Australia. And finally, number one, Adelaide, Australia. So there we have it. According to this formula, Adelaide in South Australia has the highest quality of life. After doing some research, it appears that Adelaide was once known as the boring city. However, this seems to be changing. It now has a more lively nightlife with a great bar culture, music festivals, and food markets popping up left, right, and center. Crime rates are low, it has fantastic weather, and is much more affordable than other cities like Sydney, and Melbourne. Were you surprised with this list? Do you think any cities have been missed out? If so, why? But remember which elements this algorithm takes into account. For example, New York City, London and Paris are known as some of the greatest cities in the world, but they are notoriously expensive, have terrible congestion and have high amounts of crime as they are super highly populated. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to drop a like if you enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed making it. And if you love this type of content, consider subscribing. We've got so much more to come. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.